So a lady has come out that says that she actually was one of the people who was partying with uh, the individual Jasmine Island. I have no idea how to say her name. That Jasmine that says, or she didn't say, but people think that she was raped at the uh, the dance hall in Atlanta. She says that she was partying with her team. She says that Jasmine was not there by herself. She was actually there celebrating her birthday with a group. And their group and her group actually hung out together, had drinks together, and danced together. And I guess the most important part about what they said that they did do together didn't involve anyone being forced to have sex against their will. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so, yeah. So apparently one of the ladies that was in the nightclub the night that Jasmine, Jasmine, Ireland, Ireland, I, e, anyway, it's E-I-L-A-N-D. The night that she was allegedly raped. One of the ladies that was at the nightclub then actually is coming out. And so before I tell you what she said, I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not calling the lady a liar, by the way. I'm not saying in, in no way that she's lying. I'm just saying, I think it's kind of curious that the individual would wait all of these days before speaking out, because I would think that, it, especially the way she speaks about the other guy, uh, maybe they knew each other, I don't know, but even if they didn't, you know, why would you let a man be accused of something and you don't speak out sooner? One of the issues I've always had with this situation is how is everybody seeing him on the dance floor? He's allegedly raping her and nobody is saying anything. How? Nobody came out. How? Anyway, so one thing that she wanted to say is basically uh, they ran into the young lady, uh, the Jasmine lady. They called her Jazz. I guess she met up with their team, with, with their crew, and she was hanging out with them for, you know, whatever amount of time that she was there. They was cool. So she met. they met up, and they were having drinks. Now, she had been dancing with people prior to dancing with the gentleman that she spent most of the night with. That is the individual that's being accused of the rape. Okay, so they're on the dance floor. Allegedly, she already had no panties on. See, this is the... In the story, when the lady is telling the story, first she says she makes a big point to speak about how she didn't have no panties on. And then later on, when she starts recounting the story and telling it the second time, she makes a point to say that she had stockings on. And that her stockings were ripped. Which, what I mean, I don't know what the, what the thing is nowadays. A lady's actually going to the club with stockings on? I don't know if this is a thing. Please, somebody answer that down in the comments for me. I want to know if this is a thing. If, if I didn't even know. I didn't even notice. I thought you only wore stockings. Like, if you was, like, going to work for business or some shit. Anyway, so. Allegedly. Allegedly. The young lady, butt naked. Well, not butt naked, but no underwear on was throwing it all over the dance floor, getting down on the dirty ground and dancing. Also, her clothes was haphazardly thrown on her because she was so drunk at this point that, you know, having no underwear on and being drunk, her clothes was falling off her. That was part of what was being said. Another thing that was being said was is that her and Homeboy were mutually complicit in allowing each other to grope the other so when y'all see where he's licking his fingers at basically the lady that's speaking about this is saying that that was mute that was that 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 she was okay with that like that's what they were doing her hand was down his pants his fingers was up in her junk 
That's what they was doing tonight. And um, actually, I, I forget the, the, the YouTube channel. I think it's Warn Humanity. That's what I've seen it on. Shout out to Warn Humanity. That's what I've seen uh, the video one with the young lady speaking. So uh, the young lady is saying that this is what they were doing the most of the night. The young lady also says that when uh, you've seen her gra him grabbing her breasts, that was a point where she had basically, she was collapsing. She was passing out, dancing on the dance floor because she allegedly, allegedly had so many drinks. So the young lady makes a point to say that if anything happened, it didn't happen at the club. So it seems like she's also trying to give herself a way out. So basically she's saying that they stood there the whole entire time watching. They saw what they were doing. It was a little overboard. It was way overboard, but it wasn't anything that everybody wasn't uh, agreeing in. Nobody raped her, she says. And uh, actually, her account of what she says happened would make sense with what you know people saw. I personally thought it was odd that he was bending down the way he was, but I'm guessing that that was the moments that he was attempting to help her up. If this lady's story is correct, those were the times that he was attempting to help her up to her feet. There was times where it was obvious he had his hand all over her breast. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've danced with females on dance floors before, and they've put my hand on their breasts, and it was cool. So I didn't really think anything of that too much. But she's also saying that the young lady, uh, Jasmine Jazz, had no underwear on. And he was, uh, you know, doing stuff down there in her nether regions. And she was okay with it. So, you know, I don't, I don't know what to take of that. Anyway, so that's the story that's out there now. I'm just trying to give people an update. And one thing that she does say, though, she says that she's upset that this Jasmine uh, Island, whatever her name is, she's upset that she's allowing for this story to go on as long as it has because she should have came out and spoke on it. And I'm saying, why did it take you so long to come out and speak on it? You're over there upset talking about an innocent man being accused. People go to jail for this Me Too movement, this Me Too movement, that. Why did it take you so long to come out and speak on this? Why? Why? Just saying. It's been over a week. After like two days, why didn't you already make a video or reach out to somebody or speak to somebody on this? Two days. Anyway, also, I just want everybody to know Jasmine did not is not the one that's saying that she was raped. It's actually other people that is saying this. The people that was watching her uh, her Facebook Live. They're the ones that are saying that she was raped. I haven't seen anywhere where she has said that she was raped. Although now she's suing the club or something. I don't know if she's suing the club, if she ain't suing the club. I haven't got the slightest idea. But one thing I will say is her family seemed to be clout chasers because it was uh, reported that she was in the hospital. I don't know if she's really in the hospital because there's no telling with these people, obviously, at this point. But it was being reported that she was in the hospital. She she is in the hospital from attempted suicide. I do hope that she gets well and I do hope they get her help. And this is in the situation that happens again and definitely doesn't happen again. And she's successful. Now, with that being said, the brother and the husband is busy fighting on freaking Instagram. While she's allegedly, allegedly in the hospital. So where the hell they do that at? So I don't know what's going on with any of these family members. All of this, all of this stuff is odd to me. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. So uh, leave it down in the comments, what y'all think. Once again, on this channel, things come out and I speak about the information that comes out. If information comes out and then you get mad at me, nine times out of 10, you get mad at me for speaking on the information that came out. Information came out that this young lady said that she was there, rape didn't happen. I'm telling you what she said and I'm telling you what I think about it, period. If you want to think different, think different. If you want to think the same, think the same. If you want to... 
I don't know. What's that thing Adrian Broner said? You want cheese on your hamburger? <laughs> Whatever. Get cheese on your hamburger. <laughs> Adrian Broner, yo, that was just too crazy. Anyway, uh, leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. I personally think that this young lady that came out and made all of these uh, spoke on this, she should have spoke sooner. I'm happy she spoke at all. But I think something this uh, serious, you got to come out. You got to speak sooner. You got you got to speak out sooner. You can't leave it up to people who weren't there to 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 know what happened and then say, "Well, you wasn't there. How can you know what happened?" If you were there, you know what happened, and yet you decide you want to keep it to yourself. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.